Alright guys, uh, this isn't going to be a review. I just wanted to get out some of my flashlights and talk to you guys about some of the different applications and some of the different things that I use different flashlights for uh, on a day-to-day -day basis. I'm not one of the uh, flashaholic guys, as what they're termed. I just do tend to accumulate things that I like, but I'm not a collector of flashlights. Okay. I have different lights on this table that are definitely specific to different applications. Okay, so uh, for instance, this here, this light is a beast. This is a 3300 lumen through night um, TN30, is what this one is. And as you can see here, it has three LEDs at the head of the light and this pretty much provides a wall of light now what I've used this light for was I was uh, with some people that were camping even though I didn't get to stay the night I was still up to campgrounds and I went on a hike with some people at night and where we were going through the woods where the woods are pretty heavy but you're on a trail this was lighting up the whole area where we were at I mean you could see every leaf from the trees everything you needed to see. This does have distance to it, but this is not a thrower, okay? This just gives you a lot of spill, a lot of flood in an area. So if you're in the woods and you're not in open areas, this is just going to flood the whole area. I mean, this just gave us all kinds of light. When I would turn this off, it would look like we were in a whole different environment than when it was on. Okay, so this thing was like worth its weight in gold when you're when I was in the woods or like say you just wanted to light up a whole room this would be great for that you know this isn't something that I would carry on a daily basis because for me it's just a little bit too big for that but there is specific uses for this where it does come in handy and uh, I think I just had this in one of the pockets of my 511 pants but this definitely provides a wall of light and everything is crisp everything is bright and everything is is as lit up as you need it to be when you're in the woods. You can see every little detail with this thing when you're going down trails. Uh, this light here, even though this is about 1100 lumens compared to this 3300 lumens, this thing is an amazing thrower. Now you can see how there's one LED in there and how large the head is on this and the smooth reflector in there. Uh, that's what determines the throw the size of the head, the reflector, uh, you know, being as it's smooth or orange peel, this is smooth, and the LED that's in there. This is the TN31. And while I do not have batteries in it at this time, I need to get some more 18650 rechargeables. I'll go over batteries here in a little bit as well. This thing is an amazing thrower. Now, unlike the TN30, you don't see a ton of flood around you and just flooding the whole area where you're at. This, you can like spotlight treetops, like way off in the distance. I was able to spotlight things very, very far off in the distance that this one could not reach. While this has double the lumen output, uh, this blows it away when it comes to uh, throwing a beam for distance. Just because of the construction, the size of the head, the, the single smooth reflector compared to the three reflectors. Uh, where this just floods the whole area where you're at. Now, like I said, this is still going to have throw at 3,000 lumens, but this thing you can just go out and scan treetops, you know, that are far away, very, very far away. And that's what this is good for. So that would be a different application that you could use this one for, uh, for looking long distance at things, or for spotlighting things, or if you're, you know, you're, who knows, coon hunting, you want to look in trees, whatever, you know. Um, Whereas this gives you just a, just a, just floods the whole area where you're at. Uh, now we have, we'll move on to the tactical lights here. And I have a few different tactical lights here. Uh, the first one here that I really like, and I've been doing a lot of testing on this. And this is the one, if you haven't seen my video, I just recently froze this in a bottle of water. And as you can see, it still works great. There was no moisture. I had a couple questions about this, so I will just go over it in this video. As of taking the light apart, there was no moisture inside the light anywhere after it completely dried 
on the outside. There was no moisture anywhere in here. The 18650, while I did use a cheap knockoff brand that I normally don't use, or that I don't carry my lights with, this is just a cheap one that came with one of the lights, I used this because I didn't know how the 18650 would handle being frozen. Well, as you can see, this is the same 18650, and get this all the way screwed on here. And as you can see, it works just fine. There's your momentary right there, and then here's the presets right there. Um, I'll go back over this here in a little bit. Now here is another through night that I have. This is called the TN11S, and this is around, uh, this is between 8 to 9, I think this is like 860 lumens if I'm not mistaken. So this is the through night TN11S, and this, this is kind of similar to the Olight Warrior. Because you have the button right here to automatically go into strobe, the side button, and then the side button, uh, you know, powers through the different modes. Okay, and then we have the Olight M20X Warrior. This is a 500 lumen light. You can get them now for 550 lumens. And this is a pretty awesome little light. It has a strobe button right there. Uh, what am I doing wrong here? There we go. You just hold the button here and you got your momentary strobe until you let off and this also cycles through the light modes for you okay now when we're talking tactical lights and when I th when I want to carry a tactical light and I'm wearing the clothing uh, that deems it okay for me to be able to have a tactical light in my pocket uh, normally these are the two that I choose between the through night links, which I just recently got not too long ago and I'm still testing, and the Olight Warrior. Now, there's pros and cons to each of these. One of the uh, differences about these two lights is the M20X Warrior is a little bit smaller and therefore it's a little bit lighter. But, on the other hand, with the through night links, you're getting a thousand lumens whereas of I'm getting 500 lumens here. So I'm getting double the light output of this light, and it's just maybe an ounce or two. It's not a significant difference, okay? It's really not. Um, the strobe feature on this Lynx is one of the most um, disorienting strobes that I've ever tested on myself for the 1,000 lumen strobe. And this strobe also works well too. It's just not as bright as the Lynx. So when I want to go tactical light, it's going to be between one of these two right here. And where I was always carrying this one, I have no problem substituting it and carrying this one, even though the size difference is a little bit bigger on the uh, Lynx. Now, a couple of differences is this is an orange peel reflector. The through night Lynx is a smooth reflector. So you're going to get a little bit more throw with the through night links. Uh, it's kind of a combination of throw and spill. And then with the Olight Warrior, the M20X, you're getting an orange peel reflector, which is going to give you more flood. Okay, so that's going to be two of the differences with the uh, with the with the output of these. Uh, this the reflector on this is a little bit deeper too on the through night links. It's a little bit deeper reflector. Every time, you, anytime you change those things in a light, it starts to do different things with the beam. Um, both, what I like about both of these is both of them have an output with the LED that very closely replicates what my eye would see in natural light. In other words, it doesn't cast purple or blue onto what I'm looking at with either one of these lights. This is a very clean, um, even even beam on the through night links and the Olight Warrior is more of a warm what I'd say a warm light um, it seems to have a little more reds in it to to make it not be overly bright to cast a bluish um, on the objects and they both pretty much things look to me in, in either one of these lights like they would in natural light some lights you just can't do that with it just doesn't look the same 
I don't use this light a whole lot anymore. This is the four sevens cork, uh, one, two, three squared. I do not use this light a whole lot anymore. Um, I did use this for a long period of time. The main reason is, is, is because uh, this takes, while this does take two CR123s, they're just here in a wrapper, you cannot use the 18650s in this light. I don't know if you can modify it or not, but um, I switched over to using 18650s in everything that I own. So these batteries are pricey. And I would rather use 18650s in my lights. Sometimes I'll carry this as a spare or a backup, but I don't carry this a lot. Okay, now, so this would be more geared toward your outdoors, wilderness type lights right here. Uh, search and rescue, things of that nature, spotlights. These three here are the tactical lights. And then here pretty much all three of these I would consider EDC lights or everyday carry that you could carry with you pretty much no matter what you wear uh, just to be able to have a light on you so right here is the four sevens prion this takes two AAA batteries and there I'm cycling through the modes and it does have strobe and this is going to be about um, 160 lumens or 160 or 190 lumens this is the prion 2 on high mode and then I have here this little light, which I really like. I like this light very well. It has really good knurling, and it's a, it's a twist one, but you can do it with one hand very easily. It has firefly mode. Uh, this is a through night TI, okay? And I put a little, it has a ring, and I put a little lanyard on there just for when you carry it in your pocket. It'll give you something to grab onto when you reach in to get it. Um, I believe this is, I can't remember exactly. This is either 60 or 80 lumens, but this is very adequate light. Uh, for somebody that's just in an urban environment and going from car to building and um, things like that, like if you need anything in your car or if you drop something at night, this is more than adequate light, usable light for your vehicle. Same with the four sevens prion too. Okay, so what's nice about this light is you can just throw this in your pocket and this can just ride in any of your pockets down at the bottom of your pocket and when you need to get it, it's there. Just pull it out. Like I said, again, one-handed operation, uh, which is what I like, to be able to have one-handed operation because that's what I do with the Prion 2. You know, you got the back tail clicky, and this light has never accidentally came on, turned on on me when it was in my pocket. So I have not had that happen yet. Okay, so for just an EDC of a flashlight that you can have with you any given time, any given place, and be easy to carry and lightweight, one of these three... It's an okay choice. Like I said, still not real fond of that. Okay, now let's go over some batteries. Okay, now for all these, all these big monsters here, these two lights and these three here, I go with the 18650 rechargeables. And some of the really good ones here are, if I can get this box open. Okay, and we have the Orbtronic 18650 rechargeables. These are a... 3400 milliamp hour and these are I believe one of the highest rated batteries out there for using in lights I did a lot of research and things now where I ordered these from you had to buy two at a time and they were roughly 18 19 dollars a piece and then you have to order two and then you would get this little orbtronic case this little plastic carrying case that you could take with you to have your spares in so the Orbtronic 3400 mAh is a great battery, and also, let me see which light this other one is in, and I'll tell you another good battery. Oh, that's not it. forgot, that's the, uh, that's the tester battery for torture testing. I believe that there is one in here. Okay, this is a Panasonic. Um, 18650. It says NCR 18650. This is made by Panasonic. It's a 3400 mAh. You can get these on eBay. And I found these batteries to be awesome as well. And they're cheaper than the Orbtronic. Okay. Um, I have not had long-term use with any of these batteries. They're supposed to last around 500 charges each of these batteries. So 500 charges 
you know, you figure if you were charging these every other day, you know, that would give you, <laughs> you know, a few years. Uh, this is a through night battery I'm testing, and this is actually my Olight Warrior. This through night battery came with the links. It actually comes with a battery. You just have to have buy a charger or have one at home. So if you order the through night links thousand lumen tactical light, you get this uh, through night battery with it. Doing some testing on that so far, it seems to be working pretty good. Just kind of ended up that it that it uh, put it in this one. Okay, so that's for these guys that take the 18650s. Now, onto these small ones here. This takes two AAAs, and the through night TI takes one AAA. Uh, I use the Sanyo Eneloops. You can order these on eBay, and these are rated to last 1,500 charges, okay? And uh, in my testing, these outlasted my Duracells, okay? And then I bought the charger here, and I think a four-pack of batteries was $17 for, the char for a four-charger, and a four-pack of batteries was 17 bucks on eBay. And then I bought an extra four-pack, too. So you can get a four-pack of these for about anywhere from ten to fifteen dollars and they last over fifteen hundred charges and like I said from my testing these outdid the Duracells that came with the four sevens prion so you can just drop one drop two in here or drop one in here and you're good to go and you just uh, then you just charge them up and when you put these in the charger you have to have two in either two here or two here but you have to have two or four in whatever you want you can't I don't think you can do one and then this light blinks green and then when it's the light solid it's done uh, so from my experience this takes about seven or eight hours to fully charge from an almost dead cell so that's it guys um, I hope this video helped you out and helped you to determine you know what you want I like having different lights for different occasions you know if somebody says hey we're gonna go to the woods we're gonna go camping whatever we're gonna go out to an area that's that has fields and we're gonna be doing some stuff and to the you know shooting <laughs> into the night I would definitely have one of these guys on me as far as tactical lights go any of these three are are good tactical lights um, through night links the through night TN 11 s and the old light m20 X warrior um, as far as EDC lights the four sevens uh, quark one two three the four sevens prion and the, the through night TI for 15 bucks you can't go wrong with this little light, guys. Everybody should have one of these in their collection, I think. I mean, for 15 bucks, you throw this in your dash or whatever, or, you know, just keep one in your uh, bug-out bag and just carry one of these around, put it in a coat pocket. You know, female can wear this in her purse. It's about the size of a chapstick, and it weighs 20 grams. All right, guys, hope you found the vid informative. And that's some flashlight talk. If you have any questions, let me know below. Till next time, this is H4T. Out.